What's up, ladies? What's going on? How y'all doing? How is everybody doing? Welcome to the chat. Let me see who was who is up in here. What is going on? How y'all doing? Guess what my son did? My oldest son, he broke his glasses, so I had to go get him some more glasses today. You know what I'm saying? Because him and his brother be playing too rough, too hard, honey, and something happened to those glasses. So I don't know what happened to them, so don't ask me what happened. Just know that they were broken and they had to get replaced. Let's see. What's up, Mary? What's up, BB? What's up, Queen? What's up, Starlight? What's up, Anita? What's up, Neola? Hey, TC. Hey, Timmy. Hey, Makita. Hey, Clem. Thank you, Neola. Appreciate it. So we're going to talk about Frankenstein over there. Okay? Because that's what she looking like these days. Uh, we're going to talk about Jasmine. See, um, I was looking for something on her channel, but I found it. I thought she had deleted it. Um, but she just reworded the, the live that she did when she came on her, calling herself talking noise to people because she felt some type of way about people saying that she was lying. Well, here it is. I'm calling you a liar. Um, what you going to do about it? I'm a, The reason why I'm calling you a liar is because the simple fact is that you get, you get on here and you want Chris's attention so bad to the point to where you'll get on here and try to debunk people from telling you What's really good? What's up, Sun Rose? Um, you know, she got on here. She's been sending herself flowers and shit. Thank you, Timmy. Thank you to all of you lovely ladies in the chat. Um, she's been sending herself um, flowers and things. There's not nothing wrong with you wanting to get yourself some roses and things like that. But don't lie and say somebody got them for you. But um, we got that going on. And then she wants to get on here and debunk that legendary was actually crying for his daddy that he never really had a relationship with. Um, she says, how do we know that he wasn't crying for his father? Um, she made it as if like the reason why he had the outburst in the first place was because of his father. Um, that was the reason why is why she had to go in there and get him. But as she went off into the area where he was at, uh, we all know that he spoiled as hell. Um, she gives, she gives into him. She lets him slap the shit out of her. Um, she lets him do whatever he wants to do. So he can't go off into no daycare with other children that he has never been around, that he is not familiar with, that he can get really overstimulated with. Hey, Miss Jen, um, you can't send somebody there and that has never been around other people other than their own siblings. Um, so he going off in there and he has rules that he has to follow. He has instructions that he has to follow. And um, if he does not follow those instructions, that cause him to have a meltdown. That cause him to be overstimulated because he cannot have it his way or whatever the case may be. So you had to go get him because he was in there crying at the top of his lungs and let you tell it. Um, your title state that he had an outburst. And you made it seem as if the reason why he had the outburst is because he was crying for his daddy. But then you turn around and say, as if like they let you leave his ass there. If they called you to come pick him up, then I doubt they let you leave him there. And if they didn't, you having a conversation with them, they never not once said anything about him crying for his daddy. But you said he was crying for his daddy. It's funny how you say that you're transparent, right? Do you know what transparent is? Do you need to go get you um, a dictionary? Because I know you don't got one in your house nowhere. Just Google it. I know you don't know how to spell shit. And you don't even know how to use your spell check either. That don't work either. What's up, Selena? Let me know if I'm going in and out because I don't know. Just let me know if I am. But, um, hey, Miss Levine. He act like that with the other kids. Like because she only she acts like she only has him as the only uh, the only kid in the house. You know what I'm saying? He gets to go to um, restaurants with his mama. He gets to do everything that his siblings was never able to do. They're only able to do these things around tax time. She can only able to afford those type of things around tax time. When tax time come rolling around, they 
they still get the bare minimum. Taking your kids to Chili's, taking your kids to McDonald's, especially when yo you got kids that actually really eat some damn food. You could take them to the top of the line restaurants. She said that they wanted to go somewhere. She she is such a liar. You just have to follow the liar and Jasmine. Jasmine will lie her ass until she's black and blue in the face. Um, she didn't want to go to a certain restaurant because um, of her and Chris, as if like her and Chris had these extravaganzas to this restaurant all the damn time. When he probably only took her ass one time. That's it. That's all. But she's making it seem like they had a habit in going to this place all the time when we already know they never really had no um, babysitter for legendary so when did they go to these dates or whatever the case may be? But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and play this live that she tried to get on here and talk about um, how was somebody going to tell her about her son missing somebody. Um, you're so transparent. You want to talk about you being on the shitter. Um, that's how transparent you swear, to swear that you are. But for some reason, the camera just magically disappeared and you care about legendary's privacy, but you didn't care enough to not get on here and record um, Kaylin talking about a UTI. You remember that? So you didn't think that that was something that should have been kept private. You didn't think that you recording your daughter in the doctor's office and letting everybody know publicly that your daughter had a urinary tract infection. But you thought that it was just so private for you to not record legendary crying for his daddy when that's whose attention you're trying. Because if you already told him that what you said, you were blocked. So I don't know how you communicate with somebody that has you blocked. Um, I just don't have no understanding because you're a liar. Um, not only that, you said there has been zero communication that he has not talked to his son, that you have not seen him that he has not contacted you, that he has not helped you, but then you want us to be, you want to convince us that Legendary is crying for his daddy. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Remember, Legendary was going around calling every man that he was seeing daddy, including her. So, you know, um, do how about Legendary was calling you daddy if that's who he was crying for? But see, let's, hold on, let's, let's go back. Because, see, I'm, I'm talking as if the things that you are saying are actually true. But to be real co completely honest, let's just be clear. Um, they didn't allow you to leave Legendary there because he was showing his ass. So you had to take him. So you had to cut your little your little uh, workout short. And you were pissed off about it because you kept talking about it. You were pissed off that you had to stop your workout to go see about him. And you want to convince us that you were able to calm him down after he was crying hysterically for his daddy, that you were able to leave him. And he didn't cry again for his daddy again. I don't know. You know, I'm starting to believe that you are on the spectrum. Or something. Because something, 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 something. I, I know what it is. It's nothing. It, it ain't nothing up there, you know, because you don't think your you don't think your lies through before you get on here and you tell your lies, and that's what makes your ass look stupid. So you get so here and say that you didn't feel like recording this, that, and the third, but your ass stood up there and recorded. You going to the date to the daycare door. You asking all about him having to take a shit. Oh, that could be what's wrong with him is what you said. Then all of a sudden, you having this conversation back and forth. Oh, he wants to, he has a toy in his backpack. Never, not once did you, nobody say anything about no daddy, not one damn time. Then all of a sudden, you just happen to see him have this outburst when you tried to leave him. He just starts screaming for daddy. Well, bitch, guess who daddy was? You, dummy. Hey, what's up, my lady? How you doing? You know who he was crying for, you idiot? He was calling you daddy. Hey, Miss Grable, he was calling you daddy. So if you wasn't able to make it out the door, he started crying hysterically saying daddy. Then he was calling you daddy, dummy. He done called you daddy before. 
So you want to say that he was crying for Chris? No, he was crying for you because you were leaving him. He only seen you leaving him. He didn't see Chris leaving him. Chris have not. Okay, just check this out. How does a man go from seeing his child every day, have this excellent, wonderful relationship with his child every single day to the point to where he leaves, where he's no longer with you and he just don't have no relationship with his kid? No more. Just no more. Just no more. So how, how does that shit just work? Let me tell you something. For 11 years, me and my kid's father have been together entwined. Now, if my children were to not see their father, that would devastate the fuck out of them because they really do love that man. And it will also devastate him if he could see them. But he wouldn't allow that to happen because he would make sure he would see his children. But let me tell you something. I know for a fact that it would hurt mine if he was to do something like that. But how does one man jump from being in his kid's life every day and being an active father in their kid's life every day to having a bond, a relationship with their kids every day to where now they don't live with you no more and all of a sudden the relationship with their child just, just abruptly just stops. To where he had not even picked up the phone and called you. He blocked you. And he left your baby that he had with you on the verge of being homeless because you didn't have enough. So you say to pay your rent. That's how much he care about. Legendary. So you want us to believe that. That type of shit is what's, what, what really is going on today. He's crying for his daddy. Well, we already know that that's a lie. Um, if he was crying for any daddy, the daddy would be you. Let me see what you say. She is, straight fact, she's about to start that. Oh, yeah, very much so. And she's going to start rolling on the floor and her hair going to be sticking out of her ponytail and shit. You know, just a, a real true idiot. Like, you know, you need to stop trolling your damn self because at this point, that's exactly what you're doing. Um, it's showing how desperate, pathetic you are because you're willing to get on here and talk about how you're not doing this for nobody's attention. Well, if you know you're not doing it for nobody's attention, then you wouldn't give a shit if somebody is saying that that's what you're doing it for. You wouldn't have no reason to get on here and clear shit up for 30 minutes, not, not 30 seconds or even a millisecond if you know that that's not what you get on her doing it for. If you know that that's what your son did, then you wouldn't give a shit about what somebody else would have to say about any damn thing else or whatever regarding the situation. You'll let that shit roll off your shoulder. You wouldn't even be paying no attention to it because you want to know why. If you swear up and down that people pick at you, bully you, taunt you, then why the fuck do you tune into places where you know that this type of shit goes down? How do you know? You y'all want to say in my comment section? Oh yeah, those people are definitely going in on your ass in those comment section. But you welcome that shit. Then you say that you didn't care that you was opening it up to the public and people can say any type of negative stuff to you. Then you tell your minds to not delete shit to let shit rock. So why are you getting your feelings making lives about the shit that you said that you were allowing to come down on your channel? The shit don't make no sense to me. If you are going to allow people to openly speak their opinion, then you shouldn't get mad when they say they feel like your ass is lying about him crying about his daddy that he didn't have no fucking relationship with because his ass was not even there when you say he was there. Okay. I mean, it is what it is, right? There's no point in getting on here lying about no man, um, no no situation with that as far as that goes. Um, Legendary is not prime for Chris because he didn't have no relationship with his father. If that was the case, Chris would have been done made uh, plans, um, arrangements to see his son. And you wouldn't be on her doing this bullshit that you're doing right now. Faking like people are sending you flowers and shit. Like, you just really have to think about the things that you say. You have to ex execute your plan of lying before you get on here lying because you don't be making no damn sense. Word on the curb from Flo, somebody called the gym. Yeah, I seen it on her community wall and said that she was using the last name Bowser. Uh, well, Jasmine, you never know what she will and what she won't do. Yeah, Elmo is the daddy, huh? 
Oh, yeah, she's receiving flowers and all of those things. How sway? Um, just about two weeks ago, um, she was crying about how she was just missing him and how she wished she would come home and that type of shit. But now all of a sudden, she's getting mysterious people to send her flowers to the door. And she said, oh, I know who you are. First, she said it was a surprise. Then she said she didn't know who sent them. Then she said, oh, I know who you are. Thank you. Oh, just like she told us that legendary's godmother bought him those um, those pampers. Yeah, those pampers and wipes or some shit like that. When she did a grocery haul, she said, oh, you guys, um, legendary's um legendary's god mom got these for him she said god mom or yeah that's what she said some shit uh -huh. yeah jazz is a clown she needs to check herself jasmine is a fool that's what jasmine is jasmine is a damn fool because she's get, she's getting on here every other day um talking about well this is my life this is what i'm going through at the moment but at the moment when your son was crying, you didn't think to pick up the camera because you didn't think to, to pick up the camera while he was crying. But you thought to pick up the camera and record his little ass while he was on the potty and just blur his little private parts out, right? <laughs> how, how, how fucking funny. Um, you thought that it was cool for you to record Ava while she wouldn't, she couldn't breathe when she was gasping for air, right? You thought that that was appropriate. You, you thought that was real appropriate for Chris to be kissing all Ava and taking the Maya outside when he just first meeting your daughter at five years old. Um, that's recorded. And that is up. So you thought that was appropriate, but you didn't think that it was appropriate for you to show us that he's been crying all of a sudden, buku tears for a man that don't give a fuck about him. Because when somebody asked you in the comment section, well, have his daddy not came and seen him, you know what you told them? No. Have he called or have he came by? You said no. So... How is it that how how is it that your son is missing this man that has not even decided to check up on his son since he's dipped way before December? That's just when you decided to come out and say something because you had been showing your ass all the way up until the to that point until you decided that you wanted to break the news that um you and him were no longer together anymore. The twins be day is next month. I hope they is, you know, what's more like tomorrow because you know what? This this year is flying by so fast. April is going to be here tomorrow. And Jasmine's going to say that she don't have no money, that times is hard, and that she has to pay all those bills by herself. So she's going to do what she have to do. And as long as her kids is happy and she go to five below and get them five things below a five, that's all that matters, okay? Just like she said up there and lied about that computer that she swears she got for $650. If anybody wants to believe that she went and bought that shit for $650, she ain't, but then again, she said she had to take it to, to the computer place to get it fixed because she done messed it up. And then she also stated that she had been looking at the manual on YouTube. So then again, I had to think to myself, because I have to, I have to, I have to retract what I was about to say. If she did get it off the street. And if it was so-called brand new, where in the hell was the damn um, book that comes with the damn device? And why are you looking at any type of manual off of Google if it was so brand new that you tell it? Because they said if it's a brand new device, I don't deal with Apple. I sure don't. Um, from what the people that do deal with Apple said, that if it is a device from Apple... Um, it's a, it's a stolen device because there's no Apple products like that um, that you can get for six fifty. Okay, hey Monique, what's going on? So um, yeah, that's what they were saying. Jasmine was say steam room as a shower. Oh Lord, 
Jesus Christ. And she just nasty because first of all, I wouldn't be taking no shower, no public, nothing, just like I don't use public restrooms, okay? Mm -mm. Hey, what's up, Latoya, baby? How are you doing today? But anyways, let me go ahead and play this little live where she tried to get on her and talk shit. Um, and gonna say what are wrong? What is wrong with y'all? Um, a child is not supposed to miss his father. Yeah, a child that had an active father that he actually spent time with. Um, yeah, a child will most likely miss their father, no doubt. Nobody's saying that a, that that legendary wouldn't miss his father if his father actually really gave a shit about him. But we have seen that he never has taken legendary anywhere outside of that house um, by himself. With just him a legendary, you know that, we know that. That's just plain and simple, simple and plain. Um, you have no footage of that. It's always funny how you always want to come and talk about how your phone or your computer slash whatever. Oh, check this out. I thought she said something was wrong with her laptop. That's why she had to go get another one. But it's funny how all of a sudden it's a, it's a gift for Kaylin. Ain't that some shit? I thought, I thought it was, I thought it was no longer um an operatable device. But Kaylin has gotten her hand-me-down um, because it still works. Just like the camera that she said wasn't working. It might have been broken just a little bit, but it was still functional enough for her to use it. It's just that she wanted to have something new so damn bad. That's why she went and purchased it. But then again, she said that she wanted two, not one. Remember that. So homegirl had a working camera. Now she has two of them. Don't get shit twisted. Get shit twisted, okay? Um, Jasmine thinks she's slick, okay? But what Jasmine don't know is that you can't slick a damn can of oil. She's a dummy, for sure. Yeah, I don't deal with I don't deal with Apple products, okay? So you're not gonna ever hear me say nothing about no Mac or no iPhone or no shit like that. It's not happening over here. I'm a straight Android chick, okay? All right? That's how I get down. All right? Not because I can't afford it. It's because I don't care for it. <laughs> not because I can't afford it. It's because I don't care for it. I like Samson's for sure. But homegirl says she was going to go get her Mac, okay? Um, sending herself flowers. Like I said, if you want to go get yourself flowers, fine. But don't get on her and fake like somebody sending you flowers because you're trying to make somebody jealous. And then on the other hand, say, that's not what you're trying to do. Because why all of a sudden your content, now that you done got that tax money in your hand, you feeling a little bit better. But once that well runs dry, because we already know that money is not that long. And once it's gone, you're going to be back to that content where you're going to let yourself go. All of that going to go get those B12 and lipo shots is going to go down and you're going to start gaining more pounds and more pounds and more pounds and then you're going to become imaginary depressed stressed and have this fake ass anxiety because you didn't heard these words being said around the uh this youtube here app you know what's up queen k so yeah mm -hmm. jasmine is full of shit just keep it just keep it a g you know, you have not been able to get in contact with him. So you feel like this is your only avenue. How do you know that who he's with watches you? How do you possibly know that if you're not stalking them? Stalker. Mm -hmm. Don't think you slick now. Because how are you going to say, oh, I mean, I'm, oh, hold on. I bet I said that. that we don't listen to her say this shit. She said that it gets back to him eventually. Of course it does, because you think that somebody's feeding him the bullshit that you're doing, and, and I'm pretty sure that there is. But he still don't give a shit. Even if somebody is feeding him this shit, he still don't give a shit. And it shows. You want to know why? Because you said you have not heard from him, he has not called, and he has not came by. So even if something is being fed his way, he doesn't give a shit. And you should be highly embarrassed if the woman that he's entertaining is watching you because she sees how stupid you are. Even though she's a fucking dummy too, because I wouldn't be entertaining no man that won't be that does not entertain the kids he helped create to come to this earth. Okay, 
she must just be a sorry ass bitch just as much as he is. Because see, the thing of it is, is that Jasmine is not stopping Chris from seeing legendary. She's actually down on bending knees for him to just come over there. She really doesn't give a shit if he comes to legendary or not, just as long as he comes. Let's just be honest. Um, but if the, the female that he's entertaining that they say is doing so much better than Jasmine, um, feels like she has something. She don't have shit because he don't take care of his kids. And until he decides to take care of his kids that he helped create, he cannot possibly be a woman for a man if he can't be a father to his kids. Okay. So yeah, um, Jasmine, you're the only one looking stupid. And you're damn sure the only one looking foolish because, see, you are on here seeking the wrong attention. Um, your priorities are all in the wrong place um, because you feel like by you getting on here that you got him, um, that you could have his attention. And, and you don't. And you're, and you're not, you know. So you might as well just hang it up. Stop getting out here doing shit for his attention because he's not coming to check on you. He's not coming to see anything that you got going on at all. He don't give a shit. Hold on. Let me see. How do I highlight that? Let me move that real quick. Okay. I don't know how the hell I did that. Let me see. Hey, Slee, how you doing? That money will run out and she will be on here crying, depressed, she sure will. She going to be on here tripping. She going to be on here talking about she needs some help and how she can't afford to pay this bill, that bill, and the next bill. That's exactly what she going to do. Now, I know good and damn well. Let me go incognito real quick. You know what I'm saying? That son of mine, let me just go through the, the internet. That child of mine is always messing with something, I swear, because I know I don't recall doing that. I don't recall taking that off. And steal them by the kids, no shoes. And no, she's not going to buy them nothing, man. She can care less about those kids. Well, my kids done already ran through majority of they shit already that I don't about them. Um, while when they had a lot of um, stuff at like Burlington and um, Ross, they had a lot of shirts like um, Jordan. They had a lot of Jordan stuff. They had a lot of um, majority of the stuff that they got, like the shirts that they got. Let me show y'all some of them. Hold on. They had a lot of Jordan sets, like some Jordan jog joggers and stuff like that. So they got a lot of name brand uh, uh, tees and then some bottoms. And of course, it's getting hot outside. What's up, Just Tiff? How you doing? My iPhone's been going in into incognito mode. Oh, it has, honey. I don't have one. I was talking about going into incognito on my tablet because my son that did something to where I don't feel like trying to log off into this email account that I have, honey. So, um, cause I don't forgot the password and I ain't got time for that. So I'm trying to see if I can go incognito real fast, but hold on. She didn't buy anything for them and doesn't care to cause she don't give a shit, but she made sure she bought her ass something and still going to the, um, lipo and B12 shot. Hold on y'all. All right, y'all. See, this is this is Tristan's right here. 
This is one of his uh, shirts that I got from. I think I got this one from. Uh, I think this one came from Burlington. So this is one of Tristan's right here. This Raiders. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And this is one of, this is, uh, I believe this is Jalen's shirt right here. Yep. So they had like these, like Jordan, these Jordan t-shirts and shit up there. Some of them still have tags on them. See, like this one right here. It came from Ross. So they have a lot of, like a lot of these t-shirts right here. And they are actual, of course, you know, if they come for lots of actual Jordans. And, you know, I dress my kids like twins. Y'all already know that now. So you might see double, double, double trouble. Let's see. So they had a lot of these Jordan t-shirts and stuff up there. They had some Nike stuff up there, honey. All right. I got my oldest this one, baby, because you know what I'm saying? It's a, lot, it's a lion on the shirt. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it say King on it. Where the hell I say it at? Oh, it's at the bottom. They had a lot of little nice shirts up there. Okay. Let me see. See, this is a Tommy Hilfiger shirt right here. And this one, this one did come from, I think this came from Ross. I bought this Billiton way down. So yeah, they had a lot of little Jordan stuff. So they got a whole lot of Jordan shirts and stuff and some bottoms. So majority of the stuff that they would need is some short sets. Okay. All right. I just went and grabbed a handful of stuff. That's all I did, y'all. Okay. I didn't really grab all the shit. I didn't. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't. See, of course, you know, like, Burlington, they be getting on my nerves because for the simple fact, they always got these, all of these damn Puma shirts, okay? So when I seen all the Jordan ones, I was like, okay, let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, can we do something different, you know? You know, they got some Jordan shit going on here, honey, because you know what I'm saying? I got tired of them, uh, them, them damn Puma shirts, honey. Yeah, but you know, I need to go off into the mall more often, too. It be so damn packed off into the mall, honey. I don't be like going off in there against stuff. See, and they, they had all of these shirts up there, like, so they had all of those name brand shirts, honey. So I went there and wiped them motherfuckers clean, okay? See, they have all types of little... And this ain't even this ain't even all of it, okay? This is just some of the stuff that they have. This ain't even all of it. Hold on, I'll be right back. I don't want to wake my kids up. Jalen is not feeling good, you guys. This weather's tripping. It's tricky. So my baby stayed at home with me. Then I told y'all that Tristan had broke his damn glasses, so I had to go up there and get his glasses replaced today. Y'all, I'm trying to tell y'all, boy, these kids been running me crazy. But I love my baby stuff. They having a clearance sale? Okay, I'll go off in there. No, I can't wait for nobody to buy my kids nothing. Um, I got to make sure my kids have clothes and stuff. Like, and I went and got them like some joggers for the for uh for those uh, shirts that they have because now, but now they're gonna need some shorts. So I didn't get too many of them. So I only got like probably like a handful or less than a handful because then I have to go get some shorts because honey, it's been hot. We've been getting like eighty degree weather, seventy degree weather out here in Oklahoma and shit like that. And that's why my kids, that's why my uh my baby is sick because this weather go from being hot to being cold. And then the damn school don't mind taking my kids out outside when it's fifty to damn degrees weather. Okay, so they be getting them sick. So you know what? The next time they decide to take my kids outside, um. 50 degree weather because they just square so hot. Um, I'm going to tell them that, you know, 
unless you want to take care of a sick child, don't 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 be taking my damn kid outside. Okay. All right. Don't do that. Cause see, I'm not a parent that sends my kids to school sick. I keep my kids at home when they're sick. But if you're gonna be making them sick, then I'm gonna let them come and sneeze all on your ass and get your ass sick, okay? Cause they gonna already get me, but I'm gonna let them get your ass too. So I'm gonna just send them there. See, I don't be a parent like that. I don't I don't believe in doing shit like that. But if they believe in taking my kid outside, getting my kids sick, I'm gonna believe in sending my sick kid to school and get their ass sick. Shit. The hell. How about that? But I'm lying. I still wouldn't send my kids to school sick, but y'all get what the hell I'm saying. The hell. Shit. Better do some inside damn recess or some shit. That's what we had to do sometimes when it was too cold outside. Thank you, Miss Grable. I appreciate it. Jasmine over here lying. Y'all, let me hear it. Let me hear you. Shoot. Jasmine just lied for no reason, y'all. Shame on her. Talk about no, but serious question. She get on her talking about dating. The last thing that you might want to think about is some, you don't even need to, that need to be the farthest things from your mind. I, I thank you so much, Queen. All of you ladies are beautiful too. I appreciate you guys, all of you, for being here. Uh, supporting the channel and all for my new people that have came in here. Hey, Lala. I don't know if I said hi to you. Check out Coles. Okay, honey. All right. I'll go there. I do need some, I do need to go off into the mall. I'm gonna go off into the mall to get find them some, some nice short sets and stuff like that. Because um when you go off into Roster, you go off into Burlington and a lot of these other places, a lot of repetitive shopping. You see a lot of the same shit over and over or in different colors or just the same shit, period. But homegirl is right here. So we're going to go ahead and get, get this commentary going because I'm trying to tell you, she got on her talking shit. OK, she was in her feelings because she does not feel like people should have an opinion about what she posts. Um still in yet being on here for 10 years and still don't know her ass from a hole in the ground so she wants us to leave her the hell alone while she just get on here and just post lies if we feel like you lying and you not telling the truth how you gonna get mad at us because that's how we feel who are you who are you and who are the people over there that be representing you in those comments trying to talk shit to people or whatever how how do how y'all feel like y'all gonna tell us how we should feel about you how do you think you can control how I feel about you? If I feel like you are a piece of shit, that's just how I feel. But if you feel like you're not, then that's all that matters and that all should matter to you. But see, you you like to think too far into shit. She got us on, on hold. We looking at the ceiling and shit right now. You see, that's what we looking at right now. This is the type of shit that they get on here and do and they get on here and say, hit the like button. Bitch, you can hit, you can kiss my ass. She thought that it was nice for her to get on here and tell us that she's getting on, she's on her taking a shit or taking a piss. Um, but she didn't think that she should record legendary crying at the top of his lungs to let his daddy know that he missed him so damn much knowing that she was lying her big nose off. That's why her nose done grew bigger, if you haven't noticed, because Pinocchio, Bigfoot, is over there lying her ass off. I mean, why lie? You know, just say, I want him to, I want his attention. You know, be real about your shit. Stand on it. If you say you standing on business, even though you ain't standing on shit, but that dirty ass floor in your house, okay? You need to go invest into, you know, you need to go and get you a Swiffer and get the mopping. In, in sweeping, okay? Or you can just use your nose because it's a human vacuum cleaner. But anyways, uh, let's go. Hey, Miss Thick Thighs, how you doing? Hey, Gabby. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Britt, what's going on? How y'all doing? Here's a question. Here she goes. How soon are you going to tell me? Girl. How my son? Quick question. How are you guys going to tell me? Reacted to the and what he did after. Girl. Like, some people are so crazy. Like, I don't gotta make up some shit. Someone's like, can y'all see that? Oh, yes, y'all can. Okay. The fuck? Can y'all hear her? He's not supposed to miss his dad. Oh, he doesn't know his dad. So everyone's saying that. Yeah. Okay. First of all, get on this camera and talk so we can hear what the hell you're saying. 
Let me turn my volume up. Just over because here. some of y'all kids may have stopped knowing their dad doesn't mean uh-uh. do that. She All said, right. What? Girl, I'm going to need you to cut it out. Come on, Jasmine. Like some bitches are really fucking tripping. Yeah, and you one of them. <laughs> I guess you one of those bitches that are really Sitting tripping. I'm reading the comments this morning. Good morning, Maria. And I'm just like... Yeah, I've seen our community what? tab, Gabby. Like... Make that shit make sense. Like... <laughs> I'm about to make it make sense for you right now. Just let's go. Keep on tossing. Put this fuck in here. Oh I'm my in the bathroom. God. Eat your food. I just don't understand people. Like, they literally sat here and was just like, Oh, he doesn't know his dad. You're lying. You're making this up. Who the fuck do I got to make this up for? Chris. And if he thinks someone said I did, oh, you, you're saying this because, yeah. Oh, my legs are so sore. They're like, you're saying this because um, you're trying to get his attention. No, this is what's going on in my life at the moment. I'm telling y'all what's going on. Then I seen comments saying, why didn't you record it? I didn't record me giving him water and him actually going back into the daycare. I put my camera back in my bag after that because it was a lady that came behind me. I put it back in my bag. And I'm just like, bitch. I don't have to always record everything. That's like... In that situation, y'all don't understand, because he was, I put my camera up, because he was about to go back in, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to the gym. And he, it's just, it just irritates me, because it's just like, you should have pulled your camera out when he started crying. My camera was already out whenever I, um... Listen to her lie. Look at it. My camera was already out whenever I... Get your lie out, girl. Let's go. Whenever I got to the daycare, but I put it up because at that point he was about to go back in and then it was a whole breakdown. So you telling me in the midst of him having a breakdown, I should have pulled my camera out and dealt with that and recorded it right then and there. Let me stop you right there. Okay. So boy, she got a big ass head and no brain in it. Um, so check this out. So you calmed him down enough to get him to walk back through the doors. Then all of a sudden he just burst out and had a temper tantrum out of nowhere. That's that's what you basically just said. You said that you put your camera up because there was somebody behind you lying. There was somebody behind you, but you didn't put your camera up because somebody was behind you. That's a lie. That that's a damn lie because you were sitting up there recording people as you were on that damn treadmill. All we seen were the people inside the damn gym where you were at. So you full of shit. Okay, first of all, um, if you could record him doing all of that and playing like, oh well, Legend, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? You're over exaggerating him crying, first of all, because he wasn't hysterically crying even when you came and got him, he was just whining. Because he always whining. That shit ain't nothing new. So he was whining. And you came into, well, um, maybe he had to poop. Uh, well, maybe he wants his toy. Oh, he kept talking. He would say Elmo. But you like to coerce your kids, like repeat the same shit over and over. It's like, bitch, you got alkalalia. Like my son do. Jalen. So... You want him to repeat. You want him to be a parent and repeat everything that you say. You're coercing him to say shit. Because if he's saying these things, he would just say these things. He don't need you to say, um, you want daddy? He will say, I want daddy. He wouldn't need you to prompt, prompt him to say shit. He don't need you to encourage him to say what he want. If that's what he want, he will say that. He will say that. If that's what you're saying that he was saying, then he will say that. When he was in the car, you're saying, oh, he's still upset. He was in there like, I couldn't believe this dumb ass heifer when she was like, he was in the car. And he was like, <gasps> yeah. 
You know what, Jasmine? Bitch, if I only had a brain. Boy, if you only had a brain. Because I don't know who you think you be fooling. You are doing all of this for, for Chris. Who else are you doing it for? If this is your life and you're being so transparent, then that wouldn't be nothing for you to pick up the camera and vlog him doing it. People are saying, I'm glad that you didn't. Um, well, you know what? In that situation, why would you have time if you should be comforting your son? But there has been plenty of times. You have to understand where we know who you really are. Um, there has been plenty of times you have recorded when there was inappropriate moments when you called Amaya a bitch. Um, when you let her shave her tongue, I don't give a shit how many years ago it was. You let it go down and you let it happen while you still stayed on live, just like you stayed on live to so-called debunk people talking about your stupid ass off in the comments while he's way in the other room while you sitting up there talking about him crying for his daddy when he don't even give a shit about Chris. He cared more about Elmo than he does Chris. Elmo is there. Chris is gone. Kaylin, that was Kaylin. Jasmine is full of shit and, and she needs to really grow up at her grown age. The shit that she be doing, I'm I'm really, I'm really leaning towards that she is it's something going on with her. She was on a 504 plus she was she had an IEP. So there had to be some type of diagnosis. Whatever that diagnosis was, only her and Cheryl and her daddy them know. That's it. But I, I'm, 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 you know, I'm no doctor. But yeah, most definitely, something is definitely wrong with homegirl, okay? Homeboy. That makes sense when you record everything else. Think about your situations. If my camera was already out, okay, maybe. No, because he's having a breakdown. He's crying and all this. I'm trying to soothe him. I'm trying to get him to go back in so I can go finish my workout. Why would I just pull it out? Ooh, child, some people just do and say the most. You're doing it to get his attention. He don't miss his daddy. Nigga, how the fuck you gonna tell me what, who and what my son misses? Or who he's asking for? I don't care how anybody feel. Like, at the end of the day, I'm vlogging my life and what's going on in my life. And at that moment, he was having a breakdown. I was irritated because I had to fucking stop my workout because, hey, he can't see his dad and he's upset about it. So what the fuck? First of all, what we not supposed to do, see, you a sorry bitch. So you want to use legendary as to why you can't do what you need to do. But really and truly, it's his daddy's fault. Or who you know, whoever is not helping you on the upper end, where you can be able to go and be by yourself, that's who you need to be blaming. For you to say that he's stopping you from being able to go work out when you've been working out from home, I am sincerely convinced that you went. Hey, oh son, that you went and got a membership at the same place that you know that he be playing basketball and you're hoping and highly hoping that you run into him because all of a sudden you decided to go get a membership when all the while you ain't went to go get one this whole damn time. But I believe that's where he goes and play basketball or that's where he was going to go play basketball. And you're thinking that you're going to run off into him just for him to walk past your ass, ignore your ass and legendary too. You're stupid. You're doing all of this for his attention and he still ain't giving you none. How does it feel? That's the same way you treat your kids. You don't give them no, no damn attention. You want They want your attention so bad to the point to where you don't give them shit and that's how he's doing you. How does it feel to be on the other side of the game? Don't like it, do you? But you have to get on here and lie about roses and shit like that. Bitch, I'm not going to lie about a motherfucking thing that a person is or isn't doing because if they not doing it, I'm not going to say that they are. If I'm doing it, bitch, I'm going to tell you that I'm doing it. Something is seriously wrong with you. You're pathetic as fuck. But let me jog your goddamn memory since you done forgot. So she want to get on here and argue why you didn't pick up the camera when you had the damn camera up, walking to the damn thing. And you, you had people thinking the impression that the reason why you had to go get him 
the first and the last time because it was no you left him it was no that he calmed down he never calmed down for you to leave his ass because if that was the case then they would have called you back and told you or whatever however they contacted you they would have contacted you back and said well you know what you can go ahead and leave him because he's calmed down we'll give him a little bit more time to see if he's going to be okay and then we'll we'll give you a call if we feel like you need to come and get him oh hell no Homeboy went straight Chucky. His head must have spent around, and those hairs on his head must have went like pew, 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 pew. And they said, no, nah, hell no. Nah. Um, excuse me. Uh, pardon me. Um, we need Jasmine um Dukes to the child care center, please. Bitch, come get your fucking child. Chucky in her head spinning like a motherfucker. Okay. Chucky head in her spinning. He in there knocking people's kids out. He in there biting people. He in there telling them no. He in there pulling the girls' pigtails and shit. When they singing the songs, he's screaming at the top of his lungs because he don't know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. They, they want you to come get him ASAP. Not tomorrow, right now. You got upset because you weren't able to get your workout on. Too bad. So sad. Remember, you want a legendary. You're his dad, and that's who he was crying for. So when you get on here and say he was crying for Chris, no, nah, he was crying for you. Okay? We have definitely, definitely heard him call you def daddy. As a matter of fact, I believe when he, the, when he started saying daddy, he called you daddy first. Let's be clear. Mm-hmm. 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 He called you daddy first. Yep. I don't know. Why it won't let me sign it? It won't let me, uh, what you call it? So I'm just going to go ahead and go for my phone because we ain't got time for that. But I want you to see this shit because, see, I don't know who you be thinking that you fooling, but, ma'am, you ain't fooling nobody but you, but yourself. Okay? That's the only person that you be fooling. This girl going to sit up here and say, I know who sent these flowers to me. Yeah, we know who sent them to you. You did, dummy. <laughs> we, we know you know who sent them to you. You sent them to your damn self. <laughs> Listen, Jasmine done had like, Jasmine done went and got herself like three bouquets of flowers, which is nothing wrong with that. Keep buying yourself flowers if, if you feel like you deserve them. But girl, come on now. Now, all of a sudden, you got an admirer. Okay, cool. <laughs> Stop playing yourself, man, because you full of shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit stuck up her ass. Now, what in the world? Girl, girl, pull them shorts down. They all stuck everywhere. You know. And girl, why is we looking at this angle? What is we doing looking at the oatmeal pie stomach? Oh, no, ma'am. Oh, Jesus Christ, Lord. Look at her. Debo out there taking the trash out to the curb. Why does she think we want to look as women like, honey, you got nothing but women following you. We don't want to look at the back, at your back, at your back flat side, girl. Okay. Because Chris got way more ass than you. Okay. So if anybody want to see somebody's ass, we want to see his to see why in the hell he got an ass on him like that. That's it. What's up, Destiny44? How you doing? I mean, like, dead serious, like Bigfoot out here showing us her big ass feet and them damn slippers. Like, what makes her think? Like, what the hell? She didn't even have to walk those things down. All she had to do was use her muscles and throw them bitches to the curb. They would have stayed there. Oh, my God, girl. If you don't get that booty bite out, honey, and stop recording that shit, because, girl, I know you know that shit is up your ass. Girl, she thinks she said, I done lost me some weight. Girl, where you lose the weight at in your pinky finger? Because I'm done with you. Girl, hurry up and get your ass back off in that house. Shit. Girl, don't nobody want to see you make no coffee. Everybody know how to make a cup of coffee, bitch. Okay. 
Hurry it up now. You're boring me. Girl, what is this angle? Nobody want to see big ass calves? What the hell? Girl. Uh-uh. See, that's why I'm holding my camera up here because that's what we're not going to do. <laughs> Who you bending the low, dropping the low photo? No, ma'am. We're going to keep it right here. Because why is we even on this angle? This is content to her. Y'all say she's a good editor? Okay, cool. <laughs> Please go find you some shorts that fit next time. I'm glad I'm blurring it out because I'll be damned. We're going to keep that black right there on her ass. Uh-uh, we're not playing no games. Girl, I'll be damned. Let me speed you up because we ain't finna do that. Girl, how about this hole in this wall, though? No, how about she done put this boy off in Aiden's room? Well, she's she explained why she did because we already know he's screaming his, he, he's screaming his head off. And what I'm going to say is if she is leaving this boy off into that room, I hope and pray to God that um, I know Miss 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 Gray because I was about to fall asleep. I was about to hear me snoring. Um, real loud, like like Jasmine. I was about to start snoring like a straight up grizzly bear if we would have sat any longer to watch that that little moment. But anyway, she done moved him. Supposedly moved him off into Ada's room. Let me tell you something. Now I know that you ain't allowing this crybaby. What? By uh, I know you ain't um allowing this boy to go off into Aiden's room. Hey, uh, what's up, pretty Stoner? Um, you're not allowing him to go off into that room to keep Aiden up when Aiden really goes to uh to school. Or whatever he does not need to be awakened by legendary because legendary's in there crying and shit. Um, you think that you are funny. Um, so I hope that is not the case because see, you made this scene right here. You walking off into Aiden's room or whatever, and he's standing there. Uh-uh. Hey Ruby, you wake up. Girl, hey, how look how he looking at the camera like she just full of shit. I already know something. I'm gonna say yes. That's a hole in the wall. Where the hole I at? I don't know how my kids did it, but they kept messing with it. I am going to get it repaired. Just y'all see the hole in the wall. Let my landlord know, and y'all see it. Out to repair it. So yeah, just no kids. There's the hole in the, the wall. Most, okay. First of all. Over over the ten years, <laughs> this let me tell you something. I don't move out. I don't know how many fucking times over these past over the past ten years, bitch. Within the past ten years, and I'm gonna tell you straight like this, bitch. I ain't never been no hole in my kid's room, and I don't know how it got there or no shit like that. How 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 did that hole that damn big? Getting that damn the, the, oh I know how because for for one they being left off in the room by themselves for a number of you know for um hours at a time um being unsupervised by an adult so that's how a size this whole of it is in a damn wall I don't understand how she said and they keep playing with it what the fuck do you mean they keep playing with it. She has no respect for other people's property. And that's why she would never be able to find nowhere else to stay. And her credit is so messed up. Nobody's going to take her serious. And people are going to keep having to co-sign for her. Um, I will not, wouldn't want nobody to co-sign for nothing for me. Um, I'm able to go get shit in my name. Um, my man is able to go get shit in his name. And we're able to get shit in with each other. Um, I don't know if you got a head in your house. I know who the head in mine is. Um, okay. I'm just saying, like, I just don't understand it. That That's some bullshit right there. I wonder if that was one of Chris, um, uh, ain't no telling because she said that her kids did it. You know, she's going to blame it on them. But how, how is it that they put this hole in their wall? Um, let me show y'all the hole in their wallet again because the hole is not no small hole. So how exactly did they do that? And then y'all see that damn hole? Hey, Ruby, you wake up? 
Girl, he wasn't in there sleep. Y'all ass sitting up there trying to be funny, bitch. You sit up there and put that. Yes, that's a hole in the wall. Where it go? I don't know how my kids did it, but they kept messing with it. I am going to get it repaired. Just give your girl some time. I actually let my landlord know, and we have somebody coming out to repair it. So, yeah, just know kids can do the most, okay? Kids can do the most. Bitch, ain't no kids in mine putting no holes in no walls. I'm sorry. I don't know what you mean kids can do the most. Yeah, kids can do the most when they're unsupervised and they're not being watched. That's when kids can do the most. When they don't have they don't have adult supervision and they're keeping themselves and keeping each other. That type of shit goes down because there's no way in hell um why that why there should be a hole in that damn wall in their room that damn big or or any size for that matter because if you were watching your kids instead of telling them i i, I don't understand no parent to tell their kids to go off into the room and they got to shut the fucking door they can't even keep the door open like why are you making your kids go off into one room and they got to shut the fucking door they can't even keep the door open to get no air circulating in that motherfucker or nothing they just got to go into the room and she tells them to shut the door behind them. But when it comes to legendary, legendary could be roaming free through the house, fucking the house up. Um, when um, Aiden's at school, he's in there tearing up Aiden's room. Then Aiden have to come home and clean up after legendary and shit like that because she's not making him clean up his mess. I'm pretty sure Aiden is not fucking up his room. Uh, legendary is because his mama allows him to. And then he gets screamed at how his room is dirty and how she needs to go in there cleaning up after she doesn't allow legendary to go in there and mess it up. Exactly, pretty stoner. That shit is weird as hell to me. Why does your kids need to go off in the room and shut the door? Like, like why they can't leave that damn door open? They don't have to go out. My kid ain't no damn closed doors up in this motherfucker. Not even my own. No. Hey, uh, Flex, how you doing? Because first of all, here right now, I'm here. It, I, 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 I'm the, I'm the head honcho here in this motherfucker. You come to this motherfucker, you. I'm gonna show you that I'm the man and the woman in this bitch right now. <clears throat> but other than that, during the daytime, oh yeah, there is a man here. Because during the nighttime, that man is at work where he's supposed to be for damn sure. But yeah, I'm the man and the woman in this bitch at nighttime. So you damn, you damn straight. But see, you know what? You boy, man, listen, dude, listen. Listen here. This, 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 this female right here. Carpet filthy roaches, moldy showers. Listen, she don't give a shit that she was given the opportunity to live in something nice. And she, and as soon as she got into something nice, she messed it all up because she didn't give a, a give enough care to take care of the property. Um, it's not her, she don't have to worry about it, so she's not gonna be too worried or too concerned about the shit. And then we have to see Legendary in his little, like, like, but she didn't feel the need to record him when they was at the gym, right? Nah, he ain't never cried for no Chris. He a liar. He done cried for her ass, but he ain't cried for no Chris. Anyways, let me keep on going, honey, because that's what we not supposed to do. We ain't even finna sit up and watch you on that treadmill. Or none of that shit. We're gonna skip straight to the to the to the topic. I don't watch the whole damn thing, but since I know you born the hell out of me and I'm about to fall asleep on you. Shit. Get your ass up out of here. This girl, nobody wanna see you, muscle man, do no workout. Hi. And we wanna see Macho Man work out. We'll just go watch Macho I think Man. He has some toys in his backpack too. Okay, then he goes number two. Maybe that's he'll get because I'll he'll get irritable when it's just be okay. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Mm. 
What's the matter? He talk. Go ahead. Tell her. Crying because at first, no, you said it right. You kept telling him, you you said it right. You you told on yourself, but she said, I kept telling him, I kept asking him, yeah, you kept telling him to say this shit. You want him to say this, you want these words to come out of his mouth, so you keep saying it and repeating over and over to him to where eventually he repeats the same damn shit. Then you be like, Oh, he wants his daddy, yeah. Because, bitch, if you step in and say, you want your daddy, you want your daddy, you want your daddy, he going to say, yeah, I want daddy. Or he might say, won't daddy. Bitch, I mean, like, what the fuck do you, girl? I gave him some water and he kind of calmed down. Like, he just had, like. A, this, look at this over dramatic ass shit she talking about. Dude, let's let's play this back. Now, here we go. He want his daddy so bad. Why he ain't saying shit now? What you want? So when we got to the car, I kept telling, asking him, what is it? Why are you crying? Because at first he walked back in there. Like I gave him some water and kind of calmed down. Like he just had like a, he walked in and then he just like started boohoo crying. And then he kept saying, I want daddy. And I'm just like, <sighs> it's moments like that. That kind of just irritates me because I'm just like, all he wants is daddy. <laughs> It's okay, you know. <clears throat> People don't realize how some stuff affect the kids too. He don't give a I don't shit. Know what so, he was either doing yeah, or whatever. What triggered it? But he kept saying, "I want daddy." Okay. She said that she gave him some water, and he was listen. Follow me. She said she gave him some water. Then he was getting ready to go back off into the to the uh, place, right? Then he just broke out and just started crying. So then she says, but I don't know what happened. I don't know what triggered him. I don't know if he's seen another man dropping his kid off or not. D do you hear what I said? D did you follow every damn thing that I said? So how in the how in the hell? Are you saying, talking as if like you were present when it went down and then talk as if like you weren't present when it happened? So how does one say, I gave him some water, then when he was getting ready to go back in, he just had an outburst and he just started screaming, I want daddy, I want daddy, I want daddy. And then you say, I don't know what happened. I don't know what triggered him. I don't know if he's seen someone come in and it reminded him of his daddy, like bitch, you pushing it. You, you putting extras on, you putting you putting a hundred on pump, you putting a hundred on five, because we already know you said you could make five dollars last for two weeks, bitch. Okay. Listen to what she said. And as the dummy is sitting up that line, she just no good damn. She just hey, what's up, Shay? She just no good damn well. She lying. Hold on. No, let's, let's run this. Let's run the liar back. Boo hoo crying. And he kept saying, I want daddy. Girl. It's okay. You know. People don't realize how some stuff affect the kids, too. I don't know what he was either doing or watching, what triggered it. But he kept saying, I want daddy. I don't know. Some of the stuff just really irritates me, you know, thinking about it. I was able to get my 30-minute workout. I was trying to do legs. I only did, like, 
three machines and then I was gonna actually do um abs. Yeah. He's like really irritable. I was gonna do abs and then I was gonna go to the steam room. Hmm. He's real irritable because he's fucking hungry and he's ready to go while you sit up there lying about him crying about a daddy that he don't give a shit about because he doesn't see him nor did he have a relationship with him when he was supposedly been living with you guys. So that's why he's irritable. Not because of what you're saying he's irritable about. The only person that misses him is your ass. That's it. That's all. You have the nerve to bring your sick ass on her and say, well, Amaya asked him and was wondering. She texted him and asked him, you made your daughter text that man and, and say something to him to see if he was going to text your daughter back? You sick ass bitch. Is that what you did? So you had Amaya send Chris a text message to see if he responds to Amaya because you know he like Amaya. Uh, because he wouldn't respond to you and he blocked your stupid ass because that's what you said. Um, I remember that's what you said. That's what came out of your mouth. Um, you made it seem like she just missed him so much and she was asking about him. Bitch, please. He's just really irritable. Hmm. <sighs> Some days it just be like this, y'all. It's okay. I can do my abs at home. That's totally fine. Um, stuff like that makes me kind of emotional, you know. Well, shut the fuck up. Because it affects the kids <clears throat> and a child had this situation and how he just I don't know what you I don't. So question. So you say it affects a child, right? So why the fuck would you be sitting up there talking about this sensitive topic in front of a child that it affects so much? Does that make sense? If I know that me, that if I know that my children, daddy is no longer in the picture anymore, right? I know he's not in the picture anymore, right? And girl, listen, listen, dude. <laughs> This, this bra right here, like, you just can't make this shit up. She gonna say, you can't make this shit up, but you done made every damn thing up that you said out your mouth. You made all of it up. Using using legendary to try to feel something that just ain't, ain't, ain't even gonna burn nothing. Bitch, you, you keep pouring this gasoline on this fire, and the fire ain't even spreading nowhere, bitch, because it's just not going nowhere. I don't know what it takes for you, what it's gotta take for you to understand that. But if he has not did nothing by this time, he, he does not plan on it. And he's not going to uh, give it up. Maybe she got um, earplugs in his ears. Daddy not a trigger. Girl, wouldn't he still be sensitive if he heard? Girl, listen, he ain't sensitive about no word, daddy, because he don't give a shit about that man. Just like his that man don't give a shit about him. Hey, Jay. Yeah, he, he he does not care nothing about no Christopher. He thinks that Jasmine is his daddy, to be honest with you. He thinks that Jasmine is Bigfoot too. Okay. He thinks that Jasmine, if he if he, he done seen Shrek, he, he thinks that that his mom is Fiona. Okay. So when he said if he had an outburst and she was getting ready to leave because she thought she's fit to take her big burly beast ass back off in her to go uh work out. He said, oh, no, daddy, daddy, daddy. He was talking to her. I told y'all that shit. He was just talking to her. He was telling her to be, he, shit, he was lost for words. So instead of saying mama, he said daddy. But it didn't happen. So we just, we just go, we, so she's making shit up. I'm making shit up too. We just making shit up around this motherfucker. Shit. We just making, we make believe, making fair stuff fairy tales and all types of shit he was calling her i don't know what triggered it she was like he just started i started crying okay who is he, who who is she did y'all follow the story let's run it back let's run it back crying he never went back in the second time he, he never went back. He never allowed you to leave him there the second time. That's because he was crying. You never calmed him down. He never went back in. So, bitch, when he had that outburst, you were never allowed to leave him. That's why I cut to you being in the car, you stupid tramp.
That's why you were only able to do 30 minutes, stupid. He was calling for you because you are daddy. You are the man of that house over there. And you know that you are. So why, why I mean, like, he was boo-hoo crying. Now, look, now look at this. Listen to this. Let's just... Now, now, little cry baby, Patchy Poo. Okay, did he go number two? Maybe that's he'll get because he'll, he'll get irritable when it's. Well, did you see Kristen? You was trying to help him get back off in there, and you didn't want to leave. Is that what happened, girl? What happened? Yeah, yeah. Did you see somebody that knew Kristen? You wanted to get him to go report and tell them that so they could tell them that they saw you or what? What's Big wrong? You said he wanted his daddy. That's What's the you, matter? You said he wanted his daddy. Don't forget. Okay. Hell no. He ain't getting his way. Yeah, he want to go home. Uh-uh, no, we ain't dying yet. Don't do that. What's wrong? Use your words. What's wrong? Girl. He hungry. Hell now nah, he don't want no snack. He want to go. You like the daycare. You were happy this morning. He, no, he wasn't. He was probably crying this morning, too. Hey, what's wrong? Girl, get that boy in that car. What you want? So, when we got to the car, I kept asking him, what is it? Why are you crying? Because at first, he walked back in there. Like, I gave him some water, and he kind of calmed down. Like, he just had, like, a... He walked in and then he just like started boohoo crying, and then he kept saying, "I want daddy," and I'm just <sighs> it's moments like that that kind of just irritates me because I'm just like, all he wants is daddy. <laughs> it's okay, you know. Hmm. People don't realize how some stuff. Who is people? Because you didn't have baby with people. You had baby with kids. Or watching what triggered it. But he kept saying, I want daddy. I don't know. Some of this stuff just really irritates me, you know, thinking about it. I was able to get my 30 minute workout. I was trying to do legs. I only did like three machines. And then I was going to actually do um, abs. Yeah. He's like really irritable. Well, I was gonna do abs, and then I was gonna go to the steam room. Mm -hmm. He don't have nothing He's else really to drink. Irritable. Uh, he was real irritable because he drunk all of that shit and wanted some more, girl. <sighs> some days it just be like this, y'all. It's okay. I can do my abs at home. That's totally fine. Um, Who are you right now? Stuff like that makes me kind of emotional. Are you being you know? wine glass and dumbass right now? Because it affects the kids and the child had this situation and how he just I don't know what I don't know what triggered it. She was like he just started. Who was she? I started crying and he wouldn't stop. They tried to get him to put on Elmo. She gave him a snack. He didn't want it. <laughs> so bitch. She tried to give him his Elmo that he didn't have because his Elmo was at home. So what are you talking about? She tried to give him his snack, but he didn't want it. But it had nothing to do with his daddy. So how do you mix? How do you add extras to something? Well, we blankly, we seen you record exactly what the fuck happened. But then you want to add extras to it and say, she said that he wouldn't take his Elmo, but he asked for Elmo, and Elmo was not even damn there because Elmo was at home. That's who he wanted was Elmo, and you are daddy, dummy, like I said. Like, like this, this, this girl is so damn stupid to where she thinks, like, do you not know that we are watching what you're recording, what you're posting? Like, you put the shit up and you showed us exactly what happened from A to B, bitch. From the time that you went to the door when he was sitting up there whining, from the time when you left him, got his shit, they packed him and kicked his ass on out. Yeah, he gonna have to go for the day because he's too much of a ruckus. Get him gone. Bye. That's why you were only able to do 30 minutes. Get his little chuck and gotta go.
He 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 got he in timeout for the day. He gotta go. Mm -mm. Get him. Shit, they called you over the intercom loud. Jasmine Dukes, we need you to come. Yeah, bitch, come get your kid. The fuck? Talking about he's irritable because he was hungry and he was thirsty. And he wanted you, daddy. You, not Chris, but you. He sees you more than anybody. So he's going to always and forever be clingy to you. When Chris comes around, he's probably crying and scared of his motherfucking ass, especially if you see that bald spot in the, in the middle of his head. Shit. Because he probably be wondering the shit. It be there one minute, the next minute it be gone. That, if anything, he be scared of shit when he see him. He be probably thinking it's a damn elephant or rhinosaurus because he got a big ass wagon he dragging behind him. So, bitch, you ain't finna sit here trying to convince me that he's up here crying for his daddy when he think that his daddy is really his mama. He think you his daddy and he think his daddy is his mama because he got so, a voluptuous body. Um, he actually thinks that he came out of Chris, not you. If anything, he's really irritable, you guys. Bitch, your forehead is irritable. And so is your nose. Uh, you want it? Do you want to go home and get Elmo? Exactly. I think he just needs something to help with his... So, how in the entire fuck is he crying for Elmo? And how are they offering Elmo when Elmo is at home, Jasmine? Huh? Did you follow the story? Did you follow the story? I gave him some water and he calmed down a little bit and he went in. Then all of a sudden he just started having an outburst. He just started screaming for daddy. And she says, I just can't believe you guys. I just can't believe, you know, that type of stuff just really irritates me because people just don't know how that really impacts the kid. Then she says, well, she said that she tried to offer Elmo to him. And she tried to offer him a snack, but he wouldn't take it. But then she says, he wants Elmo. Elmo's at home. It's just 11.40 where you're at and where I'm at right now, bitch. I got to get you the fuck up out of here because I'm about to get pissed off and I'm about to start cussing up a storm because you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up and you got you got legendary. Legendary's hair was in there screaming. He was in there scaring people with his hair. You know, his he got, you know, legendary's hair got powers because it's so dry. So those kids was probably there, there touching his hair, getting shocked and shit. So they just had to get him up out of there. And Jasmine just sent up that line talking about he missed his daddy knowing good and damn well that she is the father. Almost like his comfort. Yeah. Almost like his comfort. Let's run it back. Because the liar done forgot that she lied. Stuff like that. How does one forget that they lied after they just... Makes me kind of emotional, you know? Because hmm. it affects the kids and... Girl, ooh, you mother sucker, you. Y'all hold on for a hot second. Let me take this phone call, cause All right. All right. Now let's finish this, okay? Because, girl. A child had this situation, and how he just, I don't know what, I don't know what triggered it. She was like, he just started, I started crying, and he wouldn't stop. They tried to get him to put on Elmo. She gave him a snack. He didn't want it. Oh, she said, put on Elmo. 
you want to go home and get Elmo? Girl, yeah. listen here. Like but what toy did he have in his bag? It's like his comfort. Almost like his comfort toy. Girl, it's listen like here. Are you trying to be like Peach McIntyre talking about that's his comfort yeah. toy? Bitch, but listen. I have to run to his computer place, though. Elmo. Okay, we're going to go home and get Elmo. And then we're going to go get Elmo. All right, you guys. So we're currently. I that's why she looked like this. Computer. He's just sitting right here. We're currently That's why your hair sticking up on his computer head. Place. Um, they're gonna fix it. What's wrong with it? Because I just messed up everything. Y'all know how it is. Think you're doing something, following YouTube instructions and messed it up. Y'all, I'm rocking my. Why the fuck would you follow YouTube today. instructions if it comes with a book? <laughs> but um, yeah, we're gonna sit here and wait. Hopefully, it doesn't take long. He said less than thirty minutes. So just chilling, talking to Tinker you know, trying. He's still kind of like upset because he's still like. Girl, just girl, I will He's slap the shit out of you and your ass to be sitting up there top about. <gasps> can y'all believe that she sat there and said this shit? Can y'all believe that this big? Th can y'all believe that she sat there and said that legendary was still upset and he was just like, <gasps> she's like, I could tell he's still upset because he's like. <gasps> You know what? Ooh. Girl, if you was right in front of me, I would allegedly just throw the phone and just try to hit you right in the between of your. Because, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know, you, you got to stop this line and stuff you be doing and carrying on. It's just, it's just one of those. Spring. Are you okay? Yeah, he's damn fine. Look at him. No, he's okay. It's like I got mommy right now. You got mama? No, he got when daddy. Got the car when we went inside, he gave me a kiss and he was like, "Mommy, I love you." Oh. You love mommy. You love mommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Hopefully, we'll try again tomorrow and have a better day. Maybe I'll just schedule an hour instead of two hours. Um, that way, if it, I don't know, y'all. I if, really if want what? two hours. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Life happens, mom life. Girl, who the fuck are you? Right, if so this bitch now this hungry heifer is I'm about to get off here. I'm about to take this call. <sighs> Y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Now this heifer gonna sit up her lie and say she gonna give legendary a piece. They gonna share this thing now. She know good and damn well that she ate this whole that now. Nah, fuck that before you die now. Hold on. Uh-uh. Now she know good and damn well that she ate that all by herself, talking about some her legendary gonna share it. Meanwhile. She just give legendary a piece of it. I mean, she just pinch a piece off of it and give it to him. So, bitch, that's you sharing it with him. No, I'm good damn well, but you probably bought you probably bought like five or ten of them because you know you said when you bought those dumplings that you you're like, oh my god, you guys, I should have got like five more packs. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, listen, I'm through. I'm done. Yes, Miss Levine. Y'all, I'm getting tired because I cannot with this heifer right here. But let's keep on going. Let's see so we don't miss nothing. And we don't, we gonna, we gonna double back because you know, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um egg, spinach, and feta. Girl, you gonna eat that whole thing. Ew. And I'm about to split it with legend. Girl, you ain't finna split um, that with legend. Stop lying. It's just hot right now, so I'm gonna do that. Girl, look at her. She's like, ooh, yeah, I'm about oh, to eat Hi. <laughs> Hi. Mommy. Yeah, it's hot. Hi. Is it good? <laughs> Girl, he ain't got shit yet. What is my good? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, she haven't even gave him shit yet, but she's asking him, is it good? You haven't even gave, bitch, it's still the whole thing. It's still in front of you. So what is, is good to him? What are you asking <laughs> 
Jasmine was ready to gobble that shit down. Jasmine was ready to be like, she was going to be like, you know, like the hamburger man. How you take the hamburger? He was like, <laughs> like, goop. <laughs> Jasmine wanted Jazz as soon as Jasmine cut that damn thing I'm talking about she finna share with legendary that motherfucker <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> Hey hey I'm laughing cry but anyways Jasmine Jasmine licked the whole thing of that guacamole out of there because she shit. She, you know what I'm saying? She full of shit. Listen there. Let's look at it. Love you too. Look. Tomorrow. Bye. Girl, she gave him a piece. Not only her do you like that, she gave you a piece, man. Okay, pick it up. She said she was giving you half. Eat she it. lied. She eating your piece, man. Ew, gross, you little boy. Mm. No, nah, fuck that. You gonna get your ass. You better be like your mama. Just gross. Now, don't you don't you show your food no more. Oh no, we not now. Nope. Yep. Think you're doing something following YouTube instructions and messed it up. Uh-uh, nope, uh-uh, nope, nope, uh-uh, nope. Nope. Mm. Now, legendary, you show your food again. We're gonna have a problem. I'm trying to stay consistent. Girl, who is this person she is? Who is this whispering person that she talk about some? You guys, I'm just like Smith here, and I'm just going, I'm I'm gonna put legendary to sleep and I'm going to who the fuck is that? I'm over here laughing, crying, y'all, because she just got me so fucked up. But who is this person that she's being? Like, who in the... I hope I never run across this person because this person sounds irritating as fuck to my soul. <laughs> who is this person she mimicking? She's like, well, you guys, I'm going to go put Legendary in the bed right now. And um, Girl, don't get on here doing that weird ass whispering because I'm about to slap the shit out of you in a hot second, bitch, and I'm gonna wake all the fucking way up because I don't know what the fuck you got going on. <sighs> you bitch, you. I just got here and get off of here. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what? Where are her armpits, honey? That's Thano. Thano got the big ass arms, honey. You know what I'm saying? She just should be ashamed of herself. She just sit up there talking about some, you guys, I'm just going to go put Legendary in the bed. And then I'm going to go take a shower. No, she lies. She ain't going to go take no shower because she don't wash her ass. She was like, and then um, I just want to be quiet because I'm going to go over there and I'm going to edit. Bitch, if I ever find out who that is, y'all say that's Chrissy. Girl. Vlog. I'm trying to stay consistent and stay on top of things. Hopefully, if I have someone, I don't know, I'm going to have someone to watch them. Girl, you ain't got nobody to watch him. Back to the gym. We'll see. If I do, then I, I'll go back. If I don't, then I'll just wait till tomorrow, which is totally fine. But I have a lot of work I have to do anyways. Um, Girl, who is you? I can't sleep because, baby, he, we split the spinach, spinach wrap. Bad boy. Girl, you didn't split shit. <laughs> Girl. You didn't split nothing with that boy. You gave that boy a piece of that shit and you gobbled the rest of that shit down. You know good damn well what your camera died. Yeah, I bet it did because, bitch, you killed that sandwich. So all that fuss. And he was fussy, too, when I was getting on my, I mean, Kellen's computer. He was being real fussy, so. That computer you said that was broke? Mm, Maybe mm, it's mm. just one of those days. It's a thing. Life happens. Things happen. And he'll get through it. But I'm about to go ahead and sit down and edit. But I'll go pee first because I've been holding it. I don't care if you got to pee. But pee on yourself. I would recommend that spinach wrap. It's really good if you haven't tried it. I'm yeah, you ate the whole damn thing. Girl, why you have to put this in the, in the girl? Just. I put all my kids in childcare for an hour and it was free because you had a membership. (sighs) 
Jasmine's about to make my curls fall. I'm about to get off of here because she got me messed up. Okay. She got me all the way messed up. All right. I'm getting tired of her shit. And I'm about to take this phone call because I'm over the telephone. Okay. Let me see what else she had to say Your before we get off here tonight. Five kids. I put all my kids on the list. And I had an hour. So I really didn't even get to record. Girl, don't nobody as care. As I wanted to because I was really trying to focus on my workout. Uh-uh, uh, no, ma'am. I'm okay. not. Or, my ass was screaming. Bigfoot. Listen, I'm through with you, okay? You sit up there and told all kind of lies. So tomorrow I'm going to go back and finish that live that you did, and I'm going to um finish getting on your ass along with these other things that you've been doing that I've been seeing your ass do. Shit. Over here looking like a, look at her. Dude looks like a lady. Dude looks like a lady. I think I should make that my thumbnail. Hmm, interesting. Girl, look at that pose right there. Let me give me a little screenshot. Girl, let me give me a screenshot right quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Screenshot that shit real quick while I have it on the phone. Might, might have to make that my uh get that. My screensaver, y'all. <laughs> Look at it. She should have been there lifting like 500 weights and shit. I think she can do it. You can do it. Let me get my screenshot, girl. Yes, yes. I got you, girl. <laughs> oh, girl. Look at them arms, girl. You try to get buff, ain't you? Jasmine going to come out. <laughs> hey, no. <laughs> hey, y'all. Jasmine going to come out like this. Jasmine's gonna come out like <laughs> Jasmine gonna be like <laughs> Jasmine gonna have a big arm here pretty soon. It's gonna be like she ate some spinach and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to go give me something I got a can of. <laughs> All right, y'all. I ain't shit. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> I'm about to. I'm about to. Hold on. Let me make sure I can make this phone call because I'll be damn if I hang up with y'all and I'll be damn if, if. Hold on. Let me see something real quick. Let me see. Hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. Let me go see something real quick. Okay. Give me a hot second. Give me just a hot second. I might want to clown a little bit more before I fall asleep. Hold on. Let me see. Popeyes. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Let me see something. I know how, how much longer you got. So 1208? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you got 11 minutes, okay. Oh, shit. All right, all right y'all, okay, okay, I, I gotta go. All right, my man is on the phone. <laughs> hey, I'll see y'all tomorrow, okay? I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. We'll clown some more tomorrow. And if y'all see Bigfoot in y'all's dreams, remember, it's not my fault, okay? I ain't do that. But, y'all, we'll be back tomorrow because, yeah, we got to go back to that live because homegirl was just sitting up there telling them lies. So, I had to make sure we had to come and visit the headband land. Here, see? But, anyways, I love y'all. Y'all have a good night. I wish I will miss Grable. Love you, too. Okay. Good night, Miss Deborah. Bye, Timmy. Bye, y'all. See y'all. Bye, Queen.